Hey, what's up guys, this is the Geek Redemption here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial how to port forward your Minecraft server or whatever else server that uh, you need. Uh, you just need to have the correct port and stuff. So, to get started, we're going to have to figure out your port. So, for a Minecraft server, go into your server folder. And then, go to server properties. And then... Look for the option server port. And you see mine is 25565. So remember that 25565 is the port for my server. And I'm not sure how to do it for Gary's mod servers and things like that. But, so first of all, what you're going to need to do is you open your run or your search or whatever it is and type in CMD. Those letters, CMD, hit enter or click on the CMD.exe. And then, Type in IP config, uh, short for configuration. Uh, first of all, before we get started completely, uh, please like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe. If you need any, if you need any additional help or any other tutorials, then please message me or submit a video response or comment or something if you would like any additional help or any other tutorials. Now. Um, uh, let's get started. Also, please donate and subscribe and crap like that. I'm saving up to get a laptop to run servers and things like that. So yeah, and you can get ranks on my server and all that. So, uh, scroll up from the bottom to the very top. Most likely it's at the very top, like it is for me. And then it'll go to the little thingy where it says wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection. Then go down to where it says default gateway, then open your internet uh, browser. Then you see what it says is 192, so type that in in the URL finder, 192.168.168.1.1. And uh, for some people it may be 192.168.1.2 or .2.1 or .2.2 or anything different. Those are like the most common ones. Or like uh, 192.132.4.7, I don't know, it may be different, but whatever yours is, just look it up. And then, uh, log in, if you don't know what it is, go to routerpasswords.com, there will be links and everything in the description for Facebook and links to these places, then you can go to your, uh, browser thingy, or to whatever router maker it is, as you see mine here says Linksys. So then, uh, if you hit L on your keyboard when you open this thingy, it'll go to the L section, then click on Linksys, then hit Find Password. And it'll show all the different models and everything, and their protocol, and the username and the password for all those different things. And you see the model is AE2500. So let's see if we can find that. Well, unless that's not the model. Probably, I guess it's not. But, yeah, if you know the model, then that'll just get more down to it. If you don't know the model, then... Those are just some passwords you can try and stuff. So, uh, then just log in. So, I'm going to proceed in doing so. Freaking heck. Well, I typed it in the first time. I just didn't think I was doing it right. And then, um, go to applications and gaming. Your router and everything's going to look for different, different for everyone, unless you have the same exact router as me. It's going to at least look a little bit different for most people, unless you have the same router. Uh, then you go to uh, applications and gaming, or anything to do with video games, or anything to do with ports, or port forwarding, or anything like that. Then click on that. And then um, you see there are... Um, all these different... Uh, thingies, or you can hit add new or something like that. So what you're going to do is type in the name. You can name it whatever you want. For example, whip cream, or if you want to organize it better, name it Minecraft server, or Gmod server, or whatever. But just for example, I'm going to show whip cream. Then you see my server port or whatever, as I said, was 25564. But I've already port forwarded, so I'm going to change one number so that it lets me do it. And if you do the same port forward again, it most likely won't let you because you've already done that. So if all the settings are exactly the same, the exact same name, everything, um, 
or no, the name doesn't have to be the same, but if everything else is the same, including uh, mostly the port or whatever, then it will uh, not let you create a new one. At least I don't think it will. It doesn't for me. But then type in the port on the out port, internal port, uh, whatever, both the X sections where you enter your port. So 25564. Uh, default Minecraft server port is 25565, so if you haven't done anything with ports, then just type in 25565 for both of them. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it better. But, um, and then for the, for the protocol, uh, do both if you can, something like that. And, um, see the names, whipped cream, you can name it whatever. Um, wait, wrong place to enter it. But, so yeah, then you enter... Your port, I'm going to do 25563 because I've already done 25564, 25565. So I'm going to do both. And then open your CMD again. Um, and if you closed it, then just open CMD again and type in ipconfig again. And scroll up to the same section except go to above where it says IPv4 address. Then it'll usually, or it should say exactly the same number except the last uh, numbers will be the same. So 192.168.1 are all the same, and then it says 1.133, so that's what changed, and then you just add that in there. So then check enabled or whatever and hit save changes, and this is uh, related to making multiple servers. The port is related to so you can make multiple servers and stuff. So once you're done with that, um, to join your server... Uh, you can go to whatismyipaddress.com. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's .org and .net. .org just leads to the .com. .net leads to .com. So, myipaddress.com, I think. Um, yeah, and it, so there's all these different websites that show your IP address. And then just copy that and paste it into your server thingy. And then add the port at the end. For example, to join my server... I paste in my IP, unless you haven't memorized, and then add a colon, then 25565, or 25564, or 25563, or 27015, or whatever the heck it is. Default for a Gmod server is 27015, so yeah, uh, you can do whatever you want. If you'd like any additional help, or any other tutorials, or uh, anything like that, if, if it wasn't clear, I can make a new one, or something like that. If you need any help or anything, please just subscribe, like this video, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, all those delicious, cool things. If you're a cool cat, you'd be doing that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.